Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Today I'll show you how to make a faux crocodile pattern texture, which could also be considered alligator or reptile. I've been seeing this a lot in fashion lately, like on shoes and bags, and I thought I could totally DIY that on something. So I'll show you how I made this pattern on a purse and a phone case, but you can of course apply this to just about anything. All right, let's get to it. To make the texture, you'll want to use a hard coat glue or sealer that dries clear. I'm using Mod Podge and a brush. I thought it would be fun to try this out on a purse and break up the solid section with a diagonal line so that I have just a section of the croc pattern, just to make it more interesting. I blocked that off with a piece of painter's tape and then got going on the pattern. Crocodile skin is kind of like rows and rows of imperfect scales or blocks. Start out with large blocky shapes with round corners and some can be a little larger, slightly taller than the others. It doesn't have to be perfect and in fact, the more imperfect you make it look, the more natural it looks. And you really want to saturate these blocks full of glue so that when it dries, you have a texture. This pattern also has little areas of smaller blocks, so when you have some rows down, then you want to just go in and make little dots. It's kind of like cobblestones. It doesn't have to be perfect, like little rocks, and you'll find that it ends up looking a lot like crocodile skin. If you tape a section down, wait for the glue to dry for about an hour or so until the glue gets a little tacky but not completely dry, and then remove the tape so it doesn't get glued to your project and you can clean up any edges with a wet Q-tip. Then let the glue completely dry, and don't forget to wash your brush because it will get ruined if you let the glue dry on it. After some drying time, the glue dries clear and it gives a really interesting reptilian type texture. And now I have a faux crocodile purse. If you have a project that needs dinosaur skin, I think this could pass for that too. Depending on the glue you use, make sure you read the label so that you know how long it takes to completely cure. I also thought this would be a cool way to upgrade a phone case. So I did the same technique I did with the glue and brush, making two columns of rounded blocks, and then around those, making smaller scales. If you want to try an alternative to glue, I think this technique could also work with puffy paint. I then let the phone case completely dry, and now it has this really interesting faux crocodile texture, which I think makes the phone case look a little more expensive at the same time. I think this makes a cool, subtle texture you can add to any blank canvas. I think it would look great on bright colors, and I kind of want to add it to a sketchbook cover now. Let me know what you would add this pattern to in the comments below, and if you try this out for yourself, I would love to see your project pictures, so share those on any of my social links, and hit that like button if you like this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more DIY projects, and if you want to check out more pattern tutorials, you can check out one of these right here. Links will be in the description below. I will see you guys next time.